Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Crypto Busy. my name is Tom. Now in today's video we're going to go through the latest updates on Cardano and where it is headed next. I'm going to go through the fundamental and also technical analysis plus my updated price predictions. So stay tuned and definitely watch to the very end. Now if you're new to Crypto Busy and you want to see more videos about Cardano, about the crypto markets and everything else in between, be sure to join the Crypto Busy family today and subscribe. And if you do like the video, if you love Cardano, make sure to leave a like. It's very much appreciated. And so that being said, let's go straight into the video. So as you can see right now, going through the markets, it's interesting to see where Bitcoin is headed and also how it is affecting the rest of the market. As you can see on the day of recording, it is around $43,600. Now this price and the prices that will be listed in today's video will be slightly different by the time this video comes out. So just be aware of that. But the points I'm making in this video still stand strong. And so, you know, as we see the market ebb and flow, we're currently through the Bitcoin conference 2022. And so that usually affects things usually a big conference like this you usually see some form of pump and then a dump or volatility throughout these sort of conferences so just be aware of that so if you're surprised to see the sort of price action and you were thinking oh we're going to go to fifty thousand dollars straight away again these sort of things do happen so it has affected how things play out and how also the crypto fear and index went from greed straight to fear very very quickly and so it's a very short time frame just be aware of that as well when trading now also be sure to follow us on twitter at crypto busy it's a great crypto community on there and also you get some extra behind the scenes content on twitter as well so make sure to follow us on there over on twitter so let's go through cardano let's see what's happening the latest updates the technical analysis also for where things are headed and i'm also going to go through the latest updates on for cardano now as you can see right now it's currently trading at one dollar and eight cents now it has had a recent pump and a lot of people were talking about the hype behind that's great to see so it went from around sort of 80 odd cents up to around sort of one dollar twenty one dollar twenty two nearly one dollar twenty four amazing stuff to see but again as you can see three months ago back early this year you see that Cardano's around sort of one dollar sixty we can go from that further a little bit further there as well November of last year you saw a massive massive pump especially September time nearly going up to three dollars and in some places three dollars ten cents so great stuff to see there with the price action can we go to those levels again? Yes, I think it is possible to get to those levels again, but it's going to take some time to get to those levels and reach those levels. And also it's going to take some fundamentals and also some partnership announcements as well. And also on top of that, on top of everything else I've just said, it needs to deliver on its promises. And so, so far it's doing fairly well. Let's go into the technical analysis here, guys. So this is Bitcoin's price action. This also affects where things are going for the rest of the market, currently trading at 43,600. And as you can see, sort of reverse W pattern forming here. So potentially retesting lower levels we could be seeing on sort of the, the worst scale of things i'm um, going and re retesting forty thousand dollars but again if we do see a reversal then another retest of 46 will be very good for bitcoin's price and then also for the rest of the market as you can see right now cardano's price around sort of one dollar eight cent similar pattern forming here as well so we could be seeing another retest of maybe 95 cents below a dollar certainly below a dollar i would pick up some more cardano myself again none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor but i'm, I'm looking into where I'm looking for my next trade for my next buy-in for Cardano and it'd be anywhere below a dollar if we do see uh, things melt down and retest that support that very crucial support of around sort of 80 cent then I'll definitely pick up some more there as well and if we did see a massive massive event and sort of crazy crazy stuff happening then anywhere between sort of 50 to 70 would be an area that I'd look into as well but again things could reverse and I think another retest of the recent high the recent swing high of $1.24 is certainly on the cards and certainly doable in my opinion if you do want to trade Cardano and you're outside of the United States and you're an experienced trader yourself you can sign up deposit and start using Bybit today using our link down in the description below you can get up to $4,100 as a bonus and 30% discount on fees, which is amazing to see. We use Bybit every single day. It's a clean platform to use. It's user friendly and they have a spot account, they have a derivatives account, and you can trade most of the major altcoins that are out there. And they're relisting and, and listing many new altcoins as well every single day. So make sure to check it out. It's all linked down in the description below. So let's go through the fundamentals. Now, as you can see, again, this fundamentals here and also the recent updates are that price could fall below $1 uh, to see more gains. I'll leave this article linked down in the description below and also testing vital support now the other side to this with cardano is that whales are picking up they're really picking up cardano and whenever you see sort of a downturn in price usually there is a bit of whale action there maybe selling off some of their gains but what happens that you have the initial sell-off 
of Cardano or a particular crypto where whales have a big strong hold on. And then what that means is, is that the retail investors will look at that price action and they'll say, ah, I need to get out before I make even more of a loss. And so then they get out, but that is where the whales then get back in. And so you get this sort of interesting cycle where whales tend to pick up more Cardano and they accumulate more over a longer period of time compared to the retail investors because the whales see the retail investors as sort of a short-term minded type of person, type of trader. And so they will say, okay, we'll just dump the price, let the retail investors sell and lose their Cardano holdings and then we'll take up more. And that's where usually what you see happens. So just be aware of that when looking into the price action there as well. And then also Cardano is expanding into Africa and also developing nations, which is really cool to see. So the fact that we're seeing this is great for development. And then also, especially as we go through the fourth industrial revolution, it is important that we can all get involved with this as well. So the fact that Charles Hoskinson is wanting to develop and also innovate in Africa and also other nations as well, it is great to see. So I'll leave this article linked down in the description below again, so you can check it yourselves in much further detail detail. Lastly, I will leave this thought with you guys about the Charles Hoskinson, the Cardano founder, who was the co-founder of Ethereum and why CBDCs are a really bad idea. And he's talking about the privacy behind them, about how everything can be tracked. And in his opinion, that's not a good idea. He did share a video on his Twitter. He's an interesting guy, Charles Hoskinson. He does share some interesting thoughts and, you know, not just always about Cardano or crypto. He talks about many other things as well. So leave your comments down below. Are you invested in Cardano? Are you not? Do you follow Charles Hoskinson? All comments are very much welcome. All feedback is very much welcome. And definitely we'll be responding to some comments down below as well. So that's it for me in today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.